Good morning and welcome to my home. Um, today I wanted to share a little bit about my morning routine during pregnancy uh, to maybe inspire you uh, or just show you a little bit about my day. So I am in my second trimester uh, around 22 weeks and in my first trimester I did not have a lot of energy to be quite honest to you know get up early in the morning and do things. Uh, but now that the second trimester has kicked in, um, I definitely feel like I can dedicate a little bit of time for self-care in the morning and it just starts my day uh, in a better way. It just gives me a positive energy to start my day with, I guess. I'm going to set up here for uh, my morning meditation and um, normally what I do for the morning meditation is I go on YouTube and I just type literally <laughs> pregnancy meditation or prenatal meditation and I just find something that um, just speaks to me normally around 10 or 15 minutes max um, so let's get started after my meditation I like to journal about the thoughts that came to mind during that time um, so I keep a little journal here and uh, yeah I just basically throw anything in there that comes to mind it can be um, something I want to focus on that day it can be a positive affirmation it can be um, yeah something empowering uh, you know a quote of the day whatever that is uh, yeah so I don't always do it but when I feel inspired uh, I'll take five minutes and journal a little bit so today I wrote uh, allow myself to slow down and enjoy life Okay, so this comes up a lot in my pregnancy because I'm a very driven entrepreneur and business focused person. Um, I love my work. <laughs> you know, in pregnancy, there's ups and downs, there's good days, there's bad days, and it's been hard for me to slow down and just listen to my body. Although I think I've been doing quite a good job considering my background and where I was starting from. Um, but yeah, today that would be my focus is to try and allow myself to slow down and enjoy life. So how to do that? I wrote a few ideas. I'm gonna probably pick one or two in that list. Uh, but I wrote visit with a friend question mark. So I guess I'll have to text people and see if anyone is available for a walk or something. I'm a very introvert person <laughs> and uh, so if I don't remind myself of scheduling social activities, I could very well spend my whole week on my own and be okay. <laughs> so, uh, but the thing is, every time I do visit with a friend, I feel so recharged and energized and I know it's good for me, um, but it just doesn't come naturally to me to like have my schedule booked with you know, friends and meetings and, and things like that. So I need to make time for it. And yeah, today could be this day. Other things to slow down today, um, I guess lunchtime can be a good opportunity to do that. Um, so I wrote singing because, uh, well, I'm a singer songwriter, so I love singing, um, but I find that singing brings that positive energy in my soul and uh, I love singing you know cheesy pop songs uh, like from the Backstreet Boys <laughs> I love like Adele things where you can kind of give all your your soul you know and and just be loud <laughs> I could also go outside uh, we have a deck in the back and um, Right now it's starting to warm up, it's the spring and it's sunny from the morning to the afternoon. So it could be nice to just go sit there and have a warm drink, uh, maybe read a book because I have started a, a new book recently that I quite enjoy. And I wrote taking at least 30 minutes lunchtime. <laughs> You'll be like, oh, this is not a lot, but honestly, normally I just go through my lunchtime, you know, without even taking the time to 
just sit down, right? Like, I mean, I'm sitting down, but I'm at my computer and writing emails or, you know, working on a new YouTube thumbnail or, you know, I'm not really stopping. Um, so I wrote 30 minutes of no work. So these would be my goals to um, slow down today. And then the next part of my morning routine is to move my body. So I try to do a 30 minutes of something in the morning, whether it is um, yoga, Pilates, a prenatal workout, um, but just something. <laughs> I think it just starts my day in a better way. So I'm gonna go on the pregnancy postpartum TV channel and look at what she got. I love her stuff uh, and then go from there. try to end my workout session with a pelvic floor stretching exercise of some sort just because I know as a pelvic health physio the importance of that for labor and pushing. If you want to learn more about what I recommend for pelvic floor stretching exercises in pregnancy head to the description below I will link my video to help you with that. Once my workout is over it is time for breakfast because if I don't take the time to have breakfast now, I know I'm gonna get on my computer and get carried away with work, which is not good for me and not good for BB either. I also make myself a nice smoothie with uh, frozen fruits, chia seeds, ground flax seeds, just to keep the bowel moving <laughs> because we know that in pregnancy, constipation is kind of always waiting for you. So. I want to keep that under control. I also take my prenatal vitamins with my smoothie. I know this looks like <laughs> I'm an old person and I need so many pills, but I got this when we were trying to conceive and I was honestly taking probably 20 supplements a day or vitamins. Um, so I kept it for pregnancy. I only take two things though, the prenatals and um, some omega-3s. So not that bad anymore but it used to be pretty full so in my breakfast I try to include some proteins and some fats ideally um, I read this amazing book I don't know if you've read it um, it's called real food for pregnancy and it is all um, evidence-based nutrition for pregnant women and the big takeaway that I got from that book was the importance of fat and protein during pregnancy for the development of your baby. Okay, you might find me weird, but I love potatoes in my breakfast wraps. So what I do is I put one potato in the microwave, press the potato uh, function. <laughs> now I'm gonna mash this potato with some butter. Not just because it's good, but also because it's a nice source of fat. This is the thing you need in your wrap. It'll be all good to go. Mmm. So good. I've always been more of a salty breakfast kind of girl. Um, not that much sweet in the morning for me. So this is just perfect. Although there is one exception in the weekend, we normally make homemade waffles either on Saturday or Sunday. So this is my one day of sweet breakfast, <laughs> but otherwise always salty breakfast for me. And last but not least, it is coffee time. Woohoo! <laughs> So this is the ultimate reward for having done all those healthy things in the morning. I love espresso, so I normally use a half part of caffeinated and non-caffeinated coffee. Uh, so it's all mixed in that pot so I don't have to do any measuring or anything like that. Um, and yeah, like sometimes I might put a bit of um, coconut oil in my coffee if I want to add some healthy fats. Love the sound of this. And I don't put any milk in my coffee. I like it dark, I like it strong. <laughs> that is really something that 
Yeah, I mean, I, I like lattes, um, but at home, normally I won't put anything in my coffee other than, like I said, coconut oil as needed. So that is it for my morning routine. Now I'm just going to sit in my nice chair and enjoy this coffee before I start working. Today is Wednesday, so I have a live coaching session with the women who are in my signature program to answer their questions. So anyway, I hope this inspired you um, and I would love to know what is your routine during pregnancy. So if you feel like sharing, please comment below. And otherwise, I'll see you later in another one of my videos. Thanks for watching.